Greetings, greetings, greetings. We are working with a, okay, somebody just decided to pull up and start honking outside of my house. So y'all will have to excuse that background energy that's going on right now. But um, as you all know, today is what? May the 20, what is it, the 23rd today? And we have a new moon in Gemini. So, um, normally new moons, you don't, they're not like shining really bright because the moon is not as um, close to the earth as it is when we have a full moon. So I just wanted to pull, up, pull the card for tonight, which is the new moon in Gemini. <laughs> I'll let you see that. It's a very beautiful card. Let me see if I can put my flash on so you all can see this. A little light. So, the new moon in Gemini is about communication. And it's so funny because so many things have come up surrounding our um, throat chakra energy and the fact that we need to be more vocal or to speak our truth more now than ever um and that's in itself another um theme to speak to talk about as well because our throat chakra is being blocked right now to me because we um we're not it's like we're not allowed to speak because we have these masks on so it's kind of like blocking our throat chakra energy to me um and i think it's very important for us to exercise our right to free speech to not consent to something um and to speak our truth overall it's time to stop masking <laughs> so communication is the key let's read about the new moon in gemini tonight let's see a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing communication and the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. Interesting. Seeing as though Gemini is an air sign um, and using telecommunications and things like that is another way for us to communicate. So, and we don't really have a choice right now because we can't be face to face as much as we would like to. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming, a time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. In order to attune to this moon, this new moon in Gemini, which um, it normally starts its phase three days before it's here and three days after. So... It's like a seven day cycle of new moon. So you still, even though it may not be as um, full or um, it might look, you know, like it's starting to brighten up a little bit, you still have time to um, attune to the new moon. So one of the things that is suggested is to write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Now, what better time to take the time to do that now in our lives? <laughs> we have so much going on in our lives that we never prioritize the people that we care about the most. Um, and they could live in the same house with you or not. So let's take the time to write that list and then call the people on the list. Write them a letter, send a text message, reach out through email you know, and communicate to that person in some way, shape, or form. Additional meanings for this card is time to tell someone how you feel. See, communication again. Don't be all up in your head and not in your heart. 
So we all still must remain in our heart space at this time, um, which might be kind of hard to do considering the fact that we're just a little frustrated and kind of aggravated over it all. But when we do things from our heart center, it it just, it pays you back in such tremendous ways. Um, let things go and communicate from your heart space and not your head space. Um, it also could mean that someone is flirting with you. I wish someone was flirting with me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And also to read more books, which I've, um, lately I've started reading, um, The Alchemist. And I think my next book after The Alchemist I'm going to read is this book called Trees. It's just about trees. Um, because I'm a tree hugger and I love trees. So I'm going to read that book and learn a little bit more about that. Someone very precious to, um, my family, my family, um, passed away in December and um, he loved trees. He loved telling us about trees. He showed us how to tell um, every time we saw a tree, he would, you know, he could tell us what the tree was based on its bark and its leaves. So I really love trees and I wish the National Arboretum, I live in Washington, D.C. So we have the National Arboretum here, which has every tree um, across the United States and a lot of them throughout the world in there um so i love arbor day i love walking through the arboretum but it's closed right now so we can't even go as big as and spacious as it is they had the nerve to close it like that doesn't make sense but anyway i guess they didn't want us to be to poison the trees with our virus <laughs> i don't know so but the trees help cleanse the the atmosphere and the air so anyway that's my next book i'm rambling um, so the teaching of the new moon in Gemini is Gemini is the sign of communication and socializing. <laughs> That's just so daggone ironic, right? Um, it's of ideas and travel and the energy around it and around this card, no matter when you pull it, is speedy, gossipy, and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini loves a chat. One thing to be aware of is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditations will help to unscramble crossed wires in your brain. Um, I think all of us should be meditating right now a lot on whatever, you know, we can because um, we have the time to do it. This is the best time to communicate. And, you know, get your point across. So I'm also, I'm sitting on the floor in my living room. So that's what you're seeing right now. But I also wanted to pull a, um energy card tonight. Um, the energy deck is by Sandra Ann Taylor. And um, I just wanted to pull an energy card to get the energy of our moon this evening. And um, just the en overall energy, maybe for the next three days, and see, you know, what type of um, gu guidance and clarity that um, we can get right now during this open moon portal, this new moon portal that we're in right now. I'm just going to give the cards a little shuffle, and then I'm going to... Um, See if a card drops, flies out, or I'll pick one from the top of the deck. Okay. So two fail, but they fail because I was loose in my shuffling. We're going to try that again. And we're going to ask for well, just maybe a card um, to give us an idea of the energy of this new moon in Gemini where communication is the key. I'm quite sure a lot of us have been in situations where we needed to communicate more clearly and more thoroughly about where we're coming from or, you know, what we expect or even what we need. Um, I know I need to communicate more clearly when it comes down to things like that. And I need to be more gentle in my communication. Sometimes I can be a little harsh in my speak, how I speak. Um, 
and how I feel. So, a card just flipped over, and it's called The Garden and the Gate. So, it's card number 30 of the Energy Oracle deck. And I know I've pulled this card before, definitely. Um, this is a great card because I think it speaks to our, our situation right now and what we're going through. So, I'm going to read this card to you. Try to get the light to not be so focused. Let's see if I can get my ceiling lights off the card, but I'm doing the best I can. I hope you can see that. But it's called The Garden and the Gate, number 30. Abundant prosperity and staying safe. And if one thing I know right now is that we have control of our abundance right now, but we also have to stay safe too because of the situation with this pandemic that we're in. But this is the time where you can create so much abundance in your life right now. Abundance does not just mean money. It can mean creativity. You know, always doing the thing that you wanted to do but never had the time to do in your life. So let's see. Of course, they have the upright and the reversed. So I'm going to read both. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. So look at that. She's got the key around her neck. She can actually put the key in the lock and go. She doesn't have to stay closed in that gate. We all have the power to move when we want to without fear. Knowing that we'll be abundantly guided, blessed, and loved. Reversed. If this card is reversed, it indicates the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before. But your readiness to go deeper is now here. Many people believe that they cannot live in a material world, make lots of money, and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. But you, know, but you now realize that this isn't true. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any endeavor. And when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. Expect the unexpected, for joyous synchronicity abounds. There's a lot of synchronicities going on right now. If you're seeing 444-333-555, you could be talking about something one day, and then the next day it's all across the TV or it comes up on your phone, um, or you hear a friend speaking about the same thing. So um, synchronicities are abound right now, definitely. The affirmation for this card is, I am blessed with abundantly spiritual life. Every day in every way, my joyous prosperity grows and grows. And I want to speak a minute about abundance and prosperity. Because I think that people think um, being in a struggle is a part of your cult, your karmic cultural, um, like it's, it's supposed to be a part of who you are if you're a spiritual person. And I just never agreed with that. I've always believed that if you are, no matter what your walk in life is, you deserve abundance in a financial form. We have the power to create our own financial prosperity. Once Whatever you reflect out into the universe comes back to you. So if you wake up every day with the words, I am abundant, we are abundant, you will notice abundance will start entering your life in any way that you choose for it to come. If it's finances and money, 
when you speak the words, I am abundant, when you affirm that, that's what will come your way because you put it out into the universe and it has to return back to you in that shape or form. I think I am abundant. I feel I am abundant in all forms, especially creativity. And this is why it comes back to me in exactly that same way. So I encourage everyone to wake up with that on their heart and then on their minds that you are abundant. We all are abundant. We all have the power to create abundance for ourselves and our loved ones. Don't think that you're supposed to be in a struggle because you're black or whatever culture you are. That's not true. That's a trick of the old times. We are in new times right now where we can create our own. And we always could. But now that the veil has been lifted, we can step right into that abundance and create that for ourselves. So I hope you all enjoyed this reading of the new moon in Gemini. Move those cards over a little bit so they can share. The new moon in Gemini, which is communication is key. Speak your truth. Start talking. Open up your heart. Speak from your heart. And the garden and the gate where you have the power to roam, to go out and see the world masked or unmasked. Do not be afraid to step out of your home and get some of this sunshine. You know, I think that's a trick for them. Tell us to stay in the house and not get some of this sunshine out here. We need the sunshine. We need the vitamin D. It lifts our spirits. Right? And it creates really happy endorphins. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for listening. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. If it doesn't resonate, let it dissipate. Be happy, be light, be love. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.